Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a cloud print server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with a pre-configured cloud print server. So from this product page, simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you would be brought to this subscription page where you need to click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to fully complete. Once the subscription validation process is done, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. So once you are satisfied with these settings, simply click on continue to launch. And then you get two different launch options. You can launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So what I like to do is that I like to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this opens up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now within this tab, you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm just going to call this one as print server. And then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. And then scroll down even more and choose the instance type of the virtual machine according to your requirements. After that, choose a key pair by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Once that is done, you can leave the network settings as default and when you are satisfied with all of these settings, simply click on launch instance to actually deploy this virtual machine. So you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to actually connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this, simply click on view all instances. And after that, simply right click on your virtual machine and then click on launch instance. And after that, simply right click on your virtual machine and then choose connect. And then on this page, you need to move over to the RDP client tab. So now as you can see that in this tab, we have the public DNS, the username, but we do not have the password. So simply click on get password. After that, it is going to ask you to upload your key pair. So click on browse and locate your key pair. Once that is done, simply click on decrypt password. Now you have your public DNS username along with the password. Now to connect to this virtual machine, simply hit windows and type in remote desktop connection. And then you're going to copy this public DNS, paste it in front of computer field, click on show options, copy this username, paste it in front of the username field, and then click on connect. And then it is going to prompt you for the password. So simply copy this password, paste it over here, and then click on OK. And then you need to wait for the connection to be established. Now once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now once this virtual machine has completely loaded, you can start using the cloud print server. To use the print server, you can open up this print management. Now the very first step that you want to do while inside this print management is that you want to connect your printer to this cloud print server. Now to do that, you need to simply click on this print server and then the name of your virtual machine. Now on here, you're going to right click and then click on add printer. After that, you're going to add a printer using your TCP IP or the web service printer by using the IP address or the host name. So select that option and then click on next. After that, you're going to simply provide the host name or the IP address of your printer or the network to which the printer is connected to. The IP address of my printer is 192.168.18.30 and the port number is 3911. It is an HP Smart 510 tank series so if i click on next it is going to contact the printer so wait for the connection to be established now after the connection has been established with the printer you would see this screen that your printer has been installed successfully so simply click on finish to finish the installation wizard now you can see your printer right over here now in case you are using an active directory and you want to allow some specific users or a group of users to access this printer then you can do that as well simply right click on it and then choose deploy with group policy and in here you're going to simply click on browse and browse for the gpo name so that way you would be able to grant access to groups of users using the active directory anyways that brings us to the end of this tutorial now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible and make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for amazon web services and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up cloud print server on amazon web services and lastly if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.